Hi everyone, welcome to e-commerce class. My name is Angeline Wang. Today, we are going to talk about e-commerce classification. You may wonder how we can categorize e-commerce types. E-commerce is classified by the nature of the transactions and the relationships among participants. There are some basic categories of e-commerce. Here, we list 10 of them, which are B2B, business to business. The second one is B2C, business to consumer. And sometimes we also call B2C as e-tailing. The third one is B2B to C, business to business to consumer the fourth one is c to b consumer to business and c to c consumer to consumer b to e business to employees collaborative commerce we can take Boeing as an example. Remember, we talk about Boeing collaboration platform software strategy. In last class, this is what we call collaborative commerce. The next one is mobile commerce, and we call it M commerce. This, this is e learning. This sounds very familiar to all of us, like a lot of school. Even now, you are taking an e-learning class. The final one is e-government. And in this class, we will talk about the first five of them, B2B, B2C, B2B2C, C2B, and C2C. The first one is B2B. Business to business model. What is B2B? B2B is an e-commerce model in which all of the participants are business or other organizations. We take Hubbard.com as an example. Actually, you can log in to Hubbard.com and see a lot of uh, things inside. Or you can just visit their website at www.hubert.com. Yeah, and Hubbard.com is a B2B platform on which all organizations or business partners can register as members. Then they can start their tradings on Hubbard.com. We can see both the buy side and sell side are companies instead of persons. Red Lobster is a company. Blue Bonnie Bakery is a company. Yeah, Hilton Hotels are companies too. So in Hubbard.com, Red Lobster, which is a restaurant, a chain store, can buy desserts from Blue Bonnie Bakery online using Hubbard.com as the platform. While Hilton Hotels, they might have some marketing, uh, travel promotions. Therefore, they can offer a travel package, including a complimentary banquet in Red Lobsters. They can all finish this on Hubbard.com instead of using phone, email, they just go to the Hubbard.com platform, B2B platform, and they can finish all the stuff by clicking. Therefore, online B2B platforms are very important, and we also call it intermediary. An excellent B2B platform can make all tradings the most transparent such that every member will not be cheated by any dishonest parties. 
Furthermore, you can see B two B transactions often take place between a business and its supply chain members, as well as between a business its customers here and any other business. Let's take a look at the B two B platform in Taiwan. www.tradetaiwan.org. And uh, this is their website. From the website, you can see they have buyer service here, and manufacturer service, hot products for the buyers, even some brief introduction of how B two B platform works. Yeah, because. Probably you are the first time to come to this website. You don't know how to use this website, so they must have some introduction to you. If you are a company right runner, you might also need some training courses that will um to help you start your e business. Yeah, they also offer this kind of help because probably you don't have any concepts of e commerce. But if they offer you some training courses, you can learn. Uh, how to run a business online and how to get more profits or save more costs on running your business online. And if you really don't know anything, you can contact them for more detail. So now you can see not only business members can have benefits from this B two B platform, people who run this B two B platform also can get much commission, much money from trades among members. Here is another link. A lot of leading B two B websites worldwide. Let's take a look at that. Yeah. If any one of you are interested in this, you can spend more time on browsing these websites. Yeah. Uh, this website is all the popular B two B platform here. Yeah, you can. Get more details from here. We can see the top B two B website, top fifteen. You can see this is Alibaba dot com. It's from China. It's very famous. And the、uh, global sources dot com in U S. Yeah, I hope people can browse by yourself. You will get a lot of knowledge outside the class. And then we continue our、uh, class material. The next one is B two C, and we also call it e telling. B two C stands for business to consumer. B two C is an e commerce model in which business sell to individual shoppers. It's just like that. Goldva, remember Goldva dot com. Sell its chocolate to you online, and Goldva is a business company. You are an individual consumer. This is a B two C model. Sometimes we also call it electronic telling, e telling. It means the retailing is conducted online, over the internet. If you go to a grocery store in your neighborhood, that is retailing. Now you go to an online grocery store and buy things. That is e-telling. The people who sell over the internet are e-tellers, and from the current trend, size of B two C market grows continuously. The next one. Is B two B two C, which is business to business to consumer. Let me give you an example. A company Intel purchased Godiva chocolate online, and、uh, asked Godiva to send chocolate as gifts to all its employees. We can see the flow is business to business to consumer. So. We can see from this graph here. B 
B to B to C exists because many complicated relationships among business, yeah, business distributors, retailers, and the consumers. The key is that everyone needs somebody. Let's go on to the next page. This model is called consumer to business C to B. In C to B, individuals use the internet to sell products or services to organizations. From this picture, we can see there are many new C to B models, including Google Adsense, Amazon Partner Programs. If you guys are very interested in this, probably you can go online and search Google Adsense. You can see its business model, and uh, you can search for Amazon Partner Program. And also, you can see its business model. It's very special. It's a C two B. Yeah, I think everyone know Google Adsense. You can put Google Adsense on your web, and、uh, you can earn some online advertising money from Google. Basically, the concept is like this. So now let's go into the next page. Yeah, we are almost there. The last category we are going to introduce is C to C, consumer to consumer. Um, when we say C to C, usually it's an online store, uh, online auction, and so on. Yeah, and now I give everyone a very famous example. I think everyone knows Groupon. dot com. Groupon. dot com encourages a group of buyers to order products online together to get better price. This group buying behavior helps many individuals. Remember, it's individuals earn much money by working at home in Taiwan. Therefore. We can see Groupon. dot com also help C to C as long as the individual seller has good reputation on internet, which is word of mouth. We will talk about this later. Talk about the word of mouth later. Actually, it's the reputation. Yeah. So C to C market is significant. We can see this chart. Represents the trade volume share of C to C in China, the biggest market in the world. Although B to C grows recently, we still cannot ignore C to C. Yeah, but be honest. From this graph, from China's market, we can know the future trend is B to C. So business to consumer. Becomes more and more popular right now. We can see a lot of companies sell their things online, like Costco and Amazon and any big company you can think about. They sell their products online. This is B two C. Yeah, in the last slide, we say B two C is the trend in the future. Therefore, I'm going to introduce some B two C examples to you. Amazon and Zappos. First, Amazon.、Uh, let's see some Amazon history. Amazon is the largest retail B two C company in the world. Currently, and Amazon sell all kinds of goods like DVDs, CDs, MP3 downloads, computer software, video games, electronics, apparel, furniture. Food and toys. In nineteen ninety four November, CEO Jeff Bezos and two associates set up shop in a converted garage. Yeah, a lot of big companies start in a garage. Founder and the Bezos opened the virtual doors of Amazon dot com's online store in July. Nineteen ninety-five, and began selling public. In May nineteen ninety-seven, Amazon.com completed its initial public offering (IPO). April nineteen ninety-eight, 
the company acquired online bookstores in UK and、uh, Germany. Book pages and、uh, tail book. First international expansion. In 1999, the company launched its own auction site. Yeah, we can see Amazon、uh, has many first step to e-commerce activities. And in 2000, Amazon.com launched Amazon.co.jp and Amazon.france, Japan and France. And this is a brief history of Amazon until two thousand. And after two thousand, at that time, at two thousand, Amazon focuses on selling books. But we know Amazon has very high reputation. But indeed, Amazon didn't earn a lot of money from selling books. Therefore, after two thousand, Amazon switched their direction. They start to sell electronics, and that makes Amazon start to make money. And now Amazon switch their direction again. They put a lot of efforts on cloud, cloud services, and we will introduce Amazon's cloud services in the next few classes. Okay, and this is a very famous thing, Amazon. Acquire Zappos. Zappos founded in nineteen ninety nine. Zappos is powered by service, providing the best service and online shopping experience possible. Zappos sell shoes, free shipping both ways, three thirty five day return policy, and、uh, fast fulfillment. Expedited delivery, fast, friendly, and、uh, expert customer service. While Zappos sell shoes, they have the best selection in the world. If you go to Zappos dot com, go to their website, you have so much selection, over one thousand and one hundred brands, over. One hundred fifty thousand styles, over a hundred thousand unique UPCs, and、uh, three million pairs of shoes, and、uh, photographed in multiple angles, such that you can see the shoes in different angles and check if you really like it, and one hundred percent of products inventoried and no dropship. As we know, if an online company succeed, often time they have value propositions. Like we know, Google's value proposition is do no evil, and Zappos' value propositions is wowing each and every customer. They want to provide the best services. Yeah. You provide the best services, and then you have the best reputation. People will tell people. More people come to visit your website. More people buy things from your website, and more people tell more people about your website. It is a very powerful advertisement. We call it word of mouth. Our class will tell you more of word of mouth later, and. Here we give you some pretest of how word of mouth's、um, power is. We can see Zappos because they have very good reputation, and we can see their customers come. Seven point four million total purchasing customers, about two point five percentage of U.S. population, and.、Uh, Three point three million have purchased in the last twelve months. The customer will come back on any given day. About seventy five percent of purchases from returning customers and、uh, repeat customers order 
is greater than 2.5 in the next 12 months. Yeah, this is a common sense. If you run a restaurant, you want more returning customers, right? The more returning customers, the more stable your business is. The same thing here on web. And we see customers come back order more and order more often. Repeat customers have higher average order size because they are so satisfied with your service. They will order more. Uh, the statistics is like this. In 2006, quarter four, the first time consumers, the average purchased um, amount is US dollar, 111.98 cents. It's around $120. And the returning customer in the same quarter, 2006, quarter four, the returning customer's average amount spent on Zippos is around $145. Yeah, you can see the power of returning customer. Okay, so that's today's class. We have introduced you the first five categories of e-commerce classification. And because we say the future trend is B2C, so we introduce you guys to famous B2C uh, companies in US worldwide. Uh, Amazon and Zappos. So next time, in the next class, we will introduce you the other five categories of e-commerce classifications, which is B2E, collaborative commerce, mobile commerce, e-learning, and the e-government. <laughs>
I would point to our library out front, which I think everyone knows. That started out uh, with Tony actually um, recommending books, great books that he read. It evolved into a library, which is now open to everyone in the company and all of our visitors. I think the core values are they speak a lot about what type of companies Zappos is because they're not just a list of things that we have up on a wall that we look at and ignore. We really try to live and breathe them in every aspect of operations here. We, we recruit based on them, we hire based on them, we live them out. Every department has their own interpretation of them. It's, it's just something that Zappos really believes in and it's what helps make us the company that we are. Okay, in the very last, I'll give you a video. And from the video, you can see the Zappos value proposition. Why did they earn so much money? They must have some special things to customers. And now, let's take a look at Zappos propositions. And today's class finishes. See you next time.